Hello, Intrepid followers, subscribers, and watchers of my YouTube videos. It's time for another Top 10 Comic Book Covers Challenge. This time it's the Marvel Edition. Let's get into it. Better put the word out. Get ready for the nerd out. Better put specs on. <laughs> okay, let's do this challenge that Bearded Comic Bro did for us for Marvel Comics. So I got my list here and I got all the names of the people. I think, I believe I have all the comic book artist names in the right order. So here we go. Starting with my 10th favorite is this amazing comic book, X Factor number nine this is the variant cover isn't it pretty this is polaris it's just so cool um this is a cover art by david nakayama i believe that's how i spell the name yes that's how you sp say his name and i got this as an a-ok -okay, as a um yeah, as an a-ok -okay from someone and I'm, i really appreciate panda for giving that to getting that to me so that's really cool so that's the, my first one. Next is number nine. Now this one I had trouble. I don't know. <laughs> I looked inside. I looked online. And I, for the life of me, could not find who the artist is on this. And if you do know, please tell me in the comments below. Because <laughs> I am so annoyed. But I just love this because it's a shout out. This is Inferno number one variant. And it's a really great, great... <laughs> It's a really great cover because it's a homage to some uh, covers or actually some promotional material they did for the original Inferno crossover back in the 90s, um, which I'll show that right here. And then you compare it to this right here. And it's just phenomenal how they just took that, that same triptych thing of these three different characters and what they represent and what's going on with them. And... I enjoy it. I just love that 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 homage to the old to the original series that's going on, and I love the the artwork, and I love the characters and the way they juxtapose them, each of them, um, and how it foreshadowed some things that came came about later in the next few ep uh, issues. So that was cool. Um, next is this is a really cool cover. I just loved what they did here with this. This is uh, Daredevil number thirty-one. It's part one of a new of a of the plot lock called lock, Lockdown, and um, this cover is by um, Marco Cachetto and Matthew Wilson. Look at that, just phenomenal. I just love the use of the wings and the red, and the and then him carrying the the masks in his hand, like. The two different masks in his hand and the blood coming off of them and it's just so phenomenal like i don't know what about it i like like the most but i just love the way they drew it and with the wings and just how beautiful and huge they are it's just really cool and it goes plays into what his character is like that he feels like he can't be redeemed and here he is in a way being redeemed and becoming something better um, next is, where is that? Oh no, I got him out of order. Here we go. Oh, this was a cool one. I actually have two, two copies of it. I didn't realize, but this is a variant cover for Defenders number one. And it is by Peach Momoloko. I don't know if I said that last name right, but just, oh, I love the way they, 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 they have like, it goes from these flowers and these petals into the face and into this planet and things are growing from it and there's a little planet in the background and just the use of just a few colors not too much color to make it just stand out oh, i just love it it's so cool okay next um is dark hawk number three variant for the newest dark hawk one and this is by uh ron lim and israel silva ron lim is a really great care um, artist i think he actually worked on the original one um but i just love this showing like the inside of what the inside of of the rope the mat the helmet looks like or how it's been put together to create it and it's just or being opened up and dissected so it's really something you've never seen. I never see them do with a helmet. So I thought that was really cool too. 
Next is, let's find it here. I think it's on the back. Oh yeah, this is another one. This is another one where they did a really great job of using negative and positive space, space to make something. This is Bl Black Widow number 11, and it is a cover by Jordi Belair. And just look at that, like her gun, the, the, the smoke from her gun becomes her dress and her body. And, and she's got a, and she's got an umbrella that becomes the words Black Widow. And it's so different. It's so different. Like it just goes against what most like comic book covers do. And I just, I love it when they do things like this and play with, with, with negative and positive space. So number four for me is Truth, Red, White, and Black in the covers by Kyle Baker. This is a really good story because a lot of, uh, there's some parts of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier that come from this comic book series. This is a series about the Super Soldier Serum and all the experiments they did on it before leading up to Captain America becoming Captain America and the truth behind the serum. And it plays off a lot of the actual real life things that did occur in the world when it came to experiments that were done on people of color during, well, during at least the time leading up to World War II but this was a really great way to integrate something from the real world into the storyline and make it about something bigger and the, the changes and the things that needed to happen. So anyway, I just love, again, the, the, the play and use of um, negative space, the black area here with the positive space to show um, this storyline. So it's a really great cover and the, the story is really great. You should check that out. Okay, next we have, oh, this is great. Be gentle with this one because it's one of my older ones. This is New Mutants number 36. And this cover is a, it's a made by Mary Wilshire and Bill Senkowitz. Or Sen, I always say his name wrong, Senkowitz or Senkowitz. Ah, I probably butchered that name. But anyway, I love this cover because this is one of the first New Mutant cover comic books I got. And it just played with the idea of like magic and fantasy with the swords and the the shield and the skulls and she's like being held in place by all these ropes and this is the first introduction to kitty pride that i ever had um that's who's on the cover here she really wasn't ever really actually a new mutant but she was a, a, essentially a new mutant and this was of course also a crossover um with the secret wars number two storyline crossover but I just love the cover. Cover Again, there's that use of um, playing with shadow and color and negative space and positive space. And just really just, I just, I just, it just called to me and I, it grabbed me. Okay, the next one, Spider-Woman number 16. And this one is by, I'm just going to butcher this name. I know it. I'm so sorry. It's Jong-Yen Yoon, I believe. And the coolest thing about this one is the placement of the character compared to the title of the of it. And so it's Spider Woman number sixteen, but you notice the the numbers at the top and who wrote it and, and the artist is on the top. But she is hanging upside down from a steel girder in New York City, and then Spider Woman is is there. But you can also it also works this way, sort of, because <laughs> now it looks like she's doing that superhero pose and she's just landing. So I love the fact that it could be, it could be this way or it could be this way. <laughs> I love the fact that it could be either way, whichever way you like, and it still works. <laughs> I just, I just love that they were able to do that. I thought it was just so different from any other cover I've seen that they've been able to make it be seen both ways as accurate. You can look at it both ways if you want to. I mean, this is the actual way it's supposed to go because when you open it, that's what the everything is in the book. But you could still hey, like display it like this if you want to, I think. <laughs> All right, so my last one, my number one book, the one that I really love, absolutely love. There was another one I thought would be really cool, but then I saw, remember this one, and I thought, this takes it. This takes it because it just breaks the fourth wall in a way that's fascinating and hilarious. This is Excalibur number four. The cover is by Alan Davis. And just, all right, all right. So stop the video. And if you can read this, this is what it says. Okay. And then you pull back and there it is. There, <laughs> I don't know.
if Chris Claremont, who was the writer on this book, gave input on doing this cover this way, but just Alan Davis, he has such a great sense of humor. Chris Claremont does too. They did so many silly little things in this book, and it's part of the reason I love this series, this original series, and it's just, just a penultimate, for me, comic book cover, because it takes the idea of having the characters talking on the cover, because there was a point where a lot of times the characters would be having dialogue on the cover of something that may be occurring in the book. And it's talking about just <laughs> all the things that you expect to see on the cover of a book. But nope, you're not getting that. You will have to go inside the book to see what's going on. And I just love <laughs> I love it to no end. But it has a bonus. It has a bonus. On the back is another cover. And it's Megan in her, like, just in her in her zone. She's vibing with the, with the animals in the forest. Just having a grand old time. So I also love that they're um, actually the first few issues had a back cover as well um, to Excalibur in the Excalibur series. So that is my number one. So that's my that's my um, top ten Marvel comic books that I love the covers of. Um, so this is a challenge. So I've decided to um, challenge a few specific people to take up this challenge, and they are. Uh, Lady Fantastic, uh, Magic Lasso, BJ Kicks, Tessa is Nerd, and Harris Family Vlogs. You know who you are out there, all of you, and I will be tagging you below. So if you guys want to follow them and see if they do it, that's great. Um, I've also put the original video that um, Bearded Comic Bro did. So if you're out there and you didn't, uh, didn't get challenged, but you want to take the challenge up, you're more than welcome to do as well. So that's all I have. And uh, tell me in the comments what you think about mine. And like, seriously, like, this book, like, I have no idea who did the cover on this. I searched far and wide and high and low. So if you know, please, in the comments below, tell me. Or tell me what you think of my, my, my choices and which you liked. And that's it for today. So thanks for watching. And remember, comic books are for everyone.